I'm starting my CPA now. So by end of this year, I've cleared three exams. A regulation is there. You know, just one thing that many of the students generally ask is, let's say I'm I'm starting my CPA now, right? And I have st I'm starting with BEC. Just taking an example, I'm starting with BEC. I like clear BEC in three, four, five months from now. And another exam also I clear like, you know, in three, four months from now. So by end of this year, I've cleared three exams. Let's say BEC, financial reporting and audit. I'm just giving an example, right? Regulation is left. So will I be only needed to give regulation next year or, you know, everything else changes? You know, since this evolution is coming, my three exams that I've cleared stays there, right? Nothing changes or nothing impacts. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Pankaj. It's very clear. Uh, see, you could have completed all four. You could have completed one or two. doesn't matter. You should have completed BEC. In case you have not done BEC, then you have an option in January. And remember one thing that uh, it is going to help you only. There is nothing which is uh, going to make your situation difficult than somebody else who has already completed. So that's not a problem at all. And if I really have to ask it otherwise, I have cleared all three, but not BEC. And first yes. January 2024 really hits me. Then I can't give BEC. I have to choose one from those three exams and give that. That's right. That's right. All right. All right. So guys, guys, I think I think you know many of you had this query and 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 wanted to understand. I think we have very well covered it because we really wanted you know you to be free from all the doubts that you may have i'm sure you know that would be very helpful so thank you krishna i think it was very helpful in terms of you know understanding this